Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. It's still winter here in Sweden where I live and spring is progressing very slow this year. You can see this uh, lake here behind me, it's still covered in ice. But some birds <laughs> already think it's spring. A lot of migratory birds have returned to Sweden and some of them are out there on, on the ice, just sitting there, relaxing. So, what am I up to in this video? Well, this is my local woodland. But um, lately I've experienced somewhat of a creative fatigue. So this is my Easter holiday, so I've been off from work for three days. And um, I've barely left my apartment. But today I feel somewhat renewed. So maybe I can be creative today. Just as I was walking to this, this bird spotting tower where I'm at right now, I spotted a a pool of melt water with some saplings, reflections of a sapling. So that, like a switch, turned back my, turned back on my creativity. So hopefully I can find something to photograph today. So yeah, let's go up in this woodland. Every once in a while, all of us feel like we are creatively blocked or we feel fatigued. But that's okay. Um, I don't think that's something you should try and push through. If you have those feelings, just take a few days off from photography and take it easy. It's like you've been to the gym and you have had a really nice workout and you feel fatigued from that. You don't go back to the gym the next day. <laughs> you take a few days off. So it's the exact same thing with your mind, because that's what we are using when we are creative. So don't feel bad or anything if you have a creative block. Just, just relax and it will pass. Walking on the trail to the section of the woodland I wanted to photograph, I saw a couple of cranes. They were searching for food just at the border of where the forest meets the lake. They saw me and walked further out on the ice. You never know what you will encounter when you're out in nature. <laughs> Hi there, little buddy. <laughs> There's a little squirrel up in this pine tree. Really <laughs> cute little squirrel. There isn't much snow up in this woodland, so I can easily move around. And I feel like a bear that has been sleeping all winter and just woke up from hibernation. Or a child that sees something for the first time in his life. 
I'm listening, I'm looking. Ah, really peaceful. I can hear the stream. I'm looking at the bubbles, squirrels, birds. This is really nice. So it's not just about the photos. It's about the experience and being out in nature. And I'm sure I've mentioned that a lot of times in my videos. But it's true. It's true. <laughs> So what do I do to get out of a creative block? This time I took a few days off from photography and that worked this time, but sometimes that's not enough. I can also lower my expectations. I say to myself, just go out and see what you can see. I also think capturing photos that I know aren't super great helps, just to break that barrier of not capturing any photos at all. I also find that just being outdoor, on location, speeds up the process of mental recovery. Nature heals. If you have a tip on how to break a creative block, please leave a comment down below. Let's help each other as a community of photographers. At the end of the photo shoot, I came across a big surprise. I really like to capture abstract photos of reflections in water. And usually I use a slow shutter speed to smoothen the surface of the water ever so slightly. But this stream of water had a hidden feature. If I used a fast shutter speed, a beautiful texture emerged from the surface of the water. This photo was captured at 400 of a second. Even though I didn't find much to photograph today, I'm, I'm really happy I got out into nature. And uh, this is probably a really short video, but I saw a lot of birds and that squirrel was really cute. So I'm happy with this day. And uh, yeah, this is the end of the video. And give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I see you on the next adventure. Bye for now.